everyone, welcome to another video. Social media, I love it, but there's also things about it that I can't stand. And one of the things is, and I think it affects us all, and because I'm on YouTube, as well as someone who watches YouTube, I'm kind of caught up in both ends of it. And it is this constant consumerism, this constant consumption of new things. And just when you think you're done and you're happy with what you've got, something new comes out and everyone's wearing it and making it look amazing and then it starts growing on you. I'm of the opinion that you only need one bag. So what I'm gonna do is I have behind me on my new clothes rail, I've got a small selection of outfits that are non-designer with the exception of one thing and there's a reason why I'm gonna show it. And I'm gonna show it with designer accessories, but only one handbag. Because I wanna prove the point that one handbag, if you pick the right bag, pick the right size, and you get it in the right color, you don't actually need any more than that. You can get it to work with multiple different outfits. So when I was thinking about this, I was like, mm, if you can only have one bag that would work with everything, what would it be? There's two, possibly three that I would say. So if you're watching this and you don't have any designer bags yet, but you'd like to, or you, you wanna scale down, there are, yeah, there are three that I would say are worth looking at. The first one, and that's the one I'm gonna be talking about in this, is this. This is the Chanel Trendy. I think it's called the Trendy, I'm pretty sure. It comes in like so many different colors at the moment and you can also get it in seasonal colors. Although what I'm gonna be saying for all of these bags is if you're only gonna buy one or two, I would either say to get them in like a beigey kind of color or black. Because I feel like these two things, they're kind of quite neutral and I find, I do have bags that are in colors and in the summer I wear them more, but predominantly it's the kind of neutral tones that I wear more. So the first bag that I'm, I'm thinking that is worth getting, if you could only get one, is this. The second bag is this, although I wouldn't say to get it in this size. This is the classic flap, the jumbo size, the large size. And if you're thinking about getting this, I would personally go for it in this size here. This is a size small. The reason for it is, is that I bought this always knowing I wanted the jumbo, but when it comes to wearing it, it's quite big and unelegant. So a couple of weeks ago, I went to just like an outdoor event where I wore a dress and I really wanted to wear just like a black classic flat type shape bag. And when I put this with it, with a dress, it just looked too heavy and too big, whereas the dress was quite delicate looking. So I think there's a time and a place for this. In winter, I prefer wearing this when I'm wearing heavier clothes, but generally speaking, having owned the size small, I, in hindsight, wish I'd got this in this size. So yeah, there's two bags there for you. So the Trendy CC or this size in black or beige. Some of the stuff you're seeing here that I'm gonna show you is old. And I'm doing that on purpose because I wanna show how you can take things from your wardrobe that you already have. Like for example, I'm about to show you a pair of trousers that have been in my charity bag for about six or nine months. And then the other day I had to go out and I needed a pair of black trousers and they were all I had. And I was like, oh, I've got to wear those. And I put them on and I was like, they're so nice. Why did I never wear them? And so I'm, I'm trying to show you ways where you can take things that you already own that you think you're really not interested in anymore. And sometimes you can still make them work. But also I'm going to show how the bag can really pick up the whole outfit. So as I just mentioned there, the trousers are from Karen Millen. I think I got these at the beginning of 2018. This top is actually a woven top. I'll show you a close up there. Can you see it? Almost looks like a kind of really thin, fine knitted wool almost, really. This is from Lily Silk. A lot of these clothes, well, one, two, three, four. Four of the items are from Lily Silk. Lily Silk have really kindly sponsored this segment of the video. Previously, they've always sent me things, but on this occasion, they wanted to sponsor this section of the video, and I feel really grateful to that. Lily Silk are a company that are quite big on social media at the moment. They manufacture um, mulberry silk clothing. Their prices are very similar to Karen Millen and Reese, where you might be paying about 99 to $100 for a silk blouse. But one of the silk blouses, I'm gonna show you a pink one in a second, I've been wearing since last October and it's been washed so many times. And yeah, you can tell it's not brand new anymore, but it still looks really good and I still wear it. So you can get really good quality. All Lily Silk items arrive individually packaged in these boxes. So, old pair of trousers. 
Shoes, I would say, to be honest, I think if you can have one or two pairs of designer shoes, or high-end shoes, I'm gonna be designer, but I think if you can get really good quality shoes, you're onto a winner. Why? Because you can tell. I think this is the whole point with designer accessories, is that you can completely fool someone about your outfit, and it's not trying to look like wealthy or anything like that, it's trying to look put together. Simple, looks put together. These trousers are from the beginning of the year. I think you can still get them. And because it's all, because it's all just basic neutral colors, everything works really well together. Another reason why I think you don't need any more than one bag. So I've already mentioned that I think it makes you more efficient when it comes to styling. But I also think it helps when it comes to buying other things in your wardrobe. We're really living in a period of time where it's about consumption, isn't it? And you know, like with social media, as I said earlier, even I'm like it, I see something new and I, and I want it. Whereas when I've got a smaller collection of bags, I'm less likely to buy things that I know wouldn't necessarily go with everything. So I think it makes you smarter when it comes to dressing, but also when it comes to buying your clothes in general. It also saves you money. And I think as well that it makes you more thoughtful about the purchase that you're making. Because for example, if let's just say if money was no object and you could have whatever bag you wanted, you might end up with a real mixed bag of, excuse the pun, of bags that are classic and actually were worth the money. And then bags that are popular for five minutes and then they're kind of out of style and they're a lost leader. And I think that when you can only buy one or two, it makes you smarter with your money. It makes you buy things that are quality. I mentioned earlier about this. This is like the only designer piece of clothing that I've included in this video. And it's from Burberry. I do really think, no one quite makes a blazer jacket like some of the designer brands. You can get really close to it. Like I, again, coming back to Reese, Reese do really nice blazers that come really close to it. But it's kind of like the interior detail when it comes to like the lining of things, the, the cut, the fit, even the buttons. So on an inexpensive blazer, you will find that the buttons are made of plastic, whereas on something that has is quality, it will be made of horn. The lining on the inside of something that's quality will be made of something like silk or cotton or even something like viscose, whereas something that's quite cheap will be made of polyester. You might also find with something cheap that on the exterior, particularly if it's like a polyester mix, that if you wash it, partic like particularly those suits where they say that you can machine wash them, just don't because they will end up shiny and looking awful. And this is a really good example, I feel, of where you can still get the, the designer blazer, get it in a color and a style that is not gonna date and you don't have to spend the money on it. This blazer I bought back in 2010 on eBay and it was just by chance I'd seen this exact blazer. It was on Burberry, the website, and it was either seven or eight, seven, I think it was 795 and I really liked it. Just happened to go and look on eBay and I found someone selling their one. And the reason why I got it, well, similar. The reason why I got it for a good price is their photos were absolutely atrocious. And also I knew what I was looking for. I got it, I had it dry cleaned. It looks great. If you wanted to, you could have the collar up like that. Fits perfectly. Bit like the bag, really. I feel that when you add these little designer accents, the way they fit, the way they, they look, it really can add something to the outfit. And yeah, again, this bag just matches everything. I think you could, you could go for black. Black's more durable. Black's a good thing to get, but I think black would be lost on this outfit. Let me just show you. I think you kind of lose black a bit. Do you see what I mean about this bag? It really is too big, I feel. And I don't know what they've done with the chain. But when you wear it on your shoulder, it's it's like, why is that like that? I mean, but anyway, yeah, it still looks good. But I think that the smaller size version would look more elegant and would, would look better. But I think this looks better anyway. I think it just stands out. So I think when you're picking the color of the bag that you're going to get, think about what you tend to wear 
most, like the colors that you tend to wear the most. Now for my final, this is my favorite outfit. I wanted to show how if you do want to add a bit of color into the things that you buy, how you can make your one bag still work with everything. So you can do it, but I personally think the key if you're gonna do it is to pick something that is a similar tone. So what I mean is this bag, this is quite warm toned, as are these trousers, which are like an, are kind of like an aubergine color. If this was cool, if this was like um, a more gray toned beige, then I think I would have a harder time trying to get these things to work together, but because they're both warm toned, they both work. The other thing that you can try doing is if you're gonna wear color, only wear one color and mix in neutrals with the rest of it. So I've chosen black here. Lily Silk do really good shirts, also knitwear and sleepwear. They pretty much do everything, but one of my favorite things they do, this is my second pair of Lily Silk trousers. And you would think like, why would I wanna wear silk trousers? The benefit to wearing silk, and this is not just the benefit of trousers, it's a benefit in general, is that it's naturally antibacterial. It also, I don't know how, but when it's cold, it keeps you warm, and when you're warm, it keeps you cool. And I have this because I sleep in lily silk, silk pajamas. And on evenings where it's really warm, the, the silk's quite thick on them. It's a really good quality silk. It's not that kind of, I've had a silk shirt before that I bought from Harrods that was 170 pounds and the silk was so weak on it that I bent over in it one day and there was a seam up the back of the shirt and it ripped open. I've never had that happen. Like the shirts and clothes from lily silk, are very, they're very hard wearing. They wash quite well, although you have to wash them a bit differently. You have to, I personally hand wash everything and I dip them in a solution that is designed to wash silk clothing. You can buy that on their website or you can get it, um, you can get it like in the supermarket. Do you know, I definitely think this is the only bag you need. I really think it the more I look at it. I'm gonna link to all of the clothes below. Bear in mind that some of them, as I've mentioned, are quite old. If they are old and if you can't get them anymore, I'm not gonna to link to them because there won't be a link to them. Uh, anything you can still get, I'm gonna to link to. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.